concatenation is nothing but a big fancy word for adding strings together. So I'll, let me just demonstrate this application. I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to enter two name or enter a first name and a last name and click submit. I have down here a dynamic text box. And what it's doing is when I click the submit button, it's taking the first name and the last name and concatenating those in a string with the word welcome, a comma and a space, an exclamation mark, and then on the second line putting we hope you like South Mountain Community College. So putting all these elements, a literal string, the first name, the last name, and another literal string is called concatenation. Putting that all into one string and then displaying it in this text box. So let's take a look at what's happening under the hood. So I have two text boxes. This one is named first name underscore txt, last name underscore txt. Both of those are input text boxes, classic input. I have a button named submit underscore btn, and then I have a dynamic text box named output underscore txt, and it is set in the properties to allow for multiple lines. The behavior is set to multi-line. I also center the text and I of course embedded the font. Let's look at the code that's, that is executed when the submit button is clicked. So I have an event listener for the submit button that's responding to a click mouse event and it's going to execute a function called demo concatenation. And here is the function. So we declare the function, it's responding to a mouse event, it doesn't return anything, so the return type is void. And in this first line, I take a variable named first name, which is going to contain a string, and I place in that variable the text that is in the first name underscore txt text box. I do the same thing with another variable called last name, and I'm putting the text that's in last name underscore txt. Then in the output text box, I'm setting the text property to a literal string that's enclosed in quotes. That's called a string literal or literal string. So with the contents there is welcome. I put a, a comma and a space. And I want to put the space as part of this literal string so the first name doesn't run into welcome comma. Then I'm using the plus sign as the string concatenation operator. Some languages such as VB uses an ampersand, but Java and C sharp use plus. I'm going to add to welcome comma underscore the value of first name. I'm going to add to that another literal string with a space. That's going to put the space between the first name and the last name. I'm going to add to that the value of last name, and then I'm going to add to that a literal string of an exclamation mark, and then I have a backslash n. That is the new line character, sometimes referred to as an escape character. So backslash n drops the cursor down to the next line, and then it continues with, we hope you like South Mountain Community College, period. And I end my literal string. Now I could have also avoided these two lines and I could have simply put this value in here for the variable or in place of the variable and I could put this value just getting the text property from our text box and I really would not even then need these two lines. I can comment those out. And just to show you if that still works, let's run our program. Click Submit. And we get Welcome Thomas Jefferson. And on the second line, we hope you like South Mountain Community College. So that is string concatenation. We can string literal strings together. We can string variables together or string variables. We can also string um, text properties. 
or text containers. I'm going to do one more thing here, and that is to look at the code. I'm going to add another line to this. I'm going to do a little string of a slash backslash n, our escape character for a new line. I'm going to come up here and add a variable. I'm going to call it xyz, and it's going to be of a number type. And let's set it equal to 13.75. So I can also concatenate a numeric value such as XYZ and since it's a number I should convert it to a string using two string and now let's test that And you'll see it added 13.75 on the third line. That was our numeric variable converted to a string.